हेलो एवरीवन आई एम रचित नीमा मार्केट मैनेजर एट लुब्रिजॉल एडवांस मटेरियल्स इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड आई लुक आफ्टर बिजनेस केस डेवलपमेंट स्ट्रैटेजिक प्लानिंग गो टू मार्केट प्लानिंग एंड कस्टमर रिलेशनशिप मैनेजमेंट टुडे आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द थर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ बियॉन्ड प्लम्बिंग बियॉन्ड प्लम्बिंग इज अ वेरी ओन टॉक शो ऑफ फ्लोगार्ट प्लस एंड फ्लोगार्ट प्लस इज द वर्ल्ड नंबर वन सी पी वी सी प्लम्बिंग सिस्टम इन दिस टॉक शो वी इन्वाइट वेरियस इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट्स to share their experience and various aspects of plumbing and portable water management today in this episode of beyond plumbing we have with us dr amit chaudhary dr amit chaudhary is associate director at kpm engineering and consultant he looks after infrastructure and mep vertical at kpm engineering he was part of various organizations at different level throughout his professional career he is also part of designing tallest buildings and largest infrastructural projects in our region his core design values are energy climate water and waste water management through sustainable design process today in this episode of beyond plumbing we will be discussing about the dripping effect of climate change on water safety and accessibility with this i welcome dr amit chaudhary on the talk show welcome doctor thank you can you please tell us something more about yourself Thank you Rachit for inviting me to the Beyond Plumbing session. KPM is a multidisciplinary company involved in the design of MEP infrastructure structure and beam. KPM has offices at Mumbai, Dubai, London and USA. KPM has delivered the largest infrastructure projects and the tallest building in its history of working. KPM has the uh, strength more than hundreds of people who are well trained, well groomed and has the absolute market knowledge. KPM also looks after the sustainability climate impact un climate change and all myself is a specialist of infrastructure services which includes storm water sewer networks treatment plants water distribution networks storages and all i also emphasize while designing more about climate and its impacts in the design thank you sir for the introduction as you mentioned about emphasis on climate change we all know that the world is facing the biggest problem of climate change across all locations we are witnessing some unprecedented incidents which are impacting human life as well as the other living organisms present on earth we are also witnessing because of the increase in temperature and climate change we are facing accessibility towards drinking water as well as we are also facing the accessibility towards the clean water which we can use in our day to day life as an expert can you tell us more about this of course rachit i don't know for what reason when the people talk about climate change they do not mention about the drinking water and the drinking water impact the many incidences or many conferences if you watch about the climate change they only talk about the floods natural calamities contamination of water but uh, drinking water safety or drinking water, uh, water quality is not much emphasized and as a expert or as a specialist in the field those who are directly related to the drinking water quality i think it is our duty that we should make sure that while talking about the climate change we should also talk about the water domestic water or drinking water qualities so that the upcoming generations will have drinking water even though there is a impact of the climate on the water available to drink so i am in complete alignment to what you have just said about the climate change issue sir we at lubrizol are also committed towards sustainability and minimum carbon footprinting whatever product we innovate we innovate keeping in mind that our product should be durable long lasting and best in class keeping in mind the same we invented cpvc way back in 1959 and from that point in time we are ensuring that the cpvc which we have invented is best in class durable and long lasting our cpvc is known as flogard plus we are at flogard plus we are trying to improve the technology with time continuously so that we impact the environment at zero level and we ensure that while manufacturing our products the carbon footprints are also minimal 
keeping the discussion going on i would like to understand what you have done and what you are doing to address this issue so if you talk about the water we are linking the water with the fundamental right while we designing it we are making sure that the climate impact are minimum on the design of the distribution networks and whatever technology or whatever softwares whatever methods we are implementing or designing should be such that it should have a less impact on the climate secondly when we talk about the water security and water safety we are trying to make sure that traditional methods are also implemented rather digested while designing so that the traditional or the local methods can be flourished while designing so it's a nice thought while you incorporate traditional practices designing the structures and i would appreciate that you are doing this we have seen that rising temperature and you know change in weather or atmosphere is creating a lot of problem in terms of you know repeated cyclones floods extreme weathers these are impacting day to day life of human beings as well as this is also one of the cause of extinction of some of the species at lubrizol as i've said we are committed towards you know in decreasing our carbon footprinting and at the same time we are increasing our hand printing keeping in mind i would like to understand what the other stakeholders within the industry are doing to address this issue to ensure that we have clean and usable water beyond our lives as well so rachit there has to be the evolution about the drinking quality water the product which we are using should be more sustainable from the whosoever is a manufacturer they should get their raw materials which will impact less on the nature there has to be modification or there has to be new technologies coming up in the market which will make sure the carbon footprinting will be reduced the good source of water will be kept intact the conducting system should be better and should not uh, get easily damaged because of the weathering actions don't you think that the products which are already innovated are or are sustainable in nature should also be improved with time of course they have to be see improvement is a continuous process we cannot say that we have reached up to the level where there is a no further improvement is available every aspect in the plumbing is getting improved day by day whether it is product it is design it is implementation construction technologies or anything so implementation has to be there from the every key element in the plumbing system very well said sir we at lubrizol are also committed towards continuous improvement of our products and that's the reason we are investing our resources continuously into research and development of the products we have a philosophy of move cleaner create smarter and live better keeping in mind the philosophy we ensure that the products which are manufactured at lubrizol are using least amount of natural resources and that's the reason flowguard plus cpvc system is one of the best system available into the market as well as it is the most eco friendly cpvc plumbing system available into the market compared to generic cpvc in continuation to what we are discussing i would like to understand in designing modern era tall buildings what kind of challenges you face when you design the water distribution system so well uh, if we talk about the water distribution network then i would say our philosophy is one product one project or one product one solution so we would like to implement one company which will have a comprehensive range of products so that there will not be any mix and match and at the time of maintenance it would be very easy for example there is a trend in the market a few years back that using of the hybrid system like upvc product for some part of plumbing and then cpvc for the some part of plumbing however we feel that if it has to be maintained properly then 
let us have a one product and if there is a company which is comprehensively manufacturing such products then it is better for us and for the user as well so when you are saying one product one system or one system one product so do you say or do you want to say that it has to be a complete solution or complete system in place because at times we have seen uh, when we talk about uh, particularly cpvc pipes and fittings most of the companies only provide pipes and fittings and then solvent cement you have to take from another company uh, rachit uh, this is a very key important area which you have touched base that is solvent cement it is uh, always advisable to get all the three components from one company which is fitting pipe and solvent because if you try for the hybrid let us say you buy pipe from x fittings from y and solvent from z then you don't get the system guarantee or the you always have a doubt about the functionality of the system so we don't recommend that we recommend that there has to be one company which should provide all these three things with complete international set of standards so that it is a one system one solution what you just said and we are very proud to say that flogard plumbing system is the only system available across the world which has all the three attributes which you just mentioned about pipe fitting and solvent cement okay that's great okay i heard you well sir now i would like you to give us three pro tips to the stakeholders who are doing their jobs day to day into this industry with this please also mention what kind of piping and plumbing solutions people should use to minimize or eliminate the climate change on water safety and accessibility okay so you mean pro tips for the plumbers the pro tips for the plumber are they should join the training programs either arranged by the government institutes or the private uh, manufacturers then they can watch some videos which are nowadays available ample they should minimize the resource uh, usage and they should educate also to the customers because they are the grassroots level people those who are really working so they should educate the people about recycling of the water so this could be the three or four pro tips you can use great in fact i'm glad to tell you that the very first aspect which you mentioned about is the plumber training and we at lubrizol are committed towards also this aspect of training the plumbers to do their job in a right way and to do that we have a specialized program for them which is called as flogart plus plumber patshala and in this program we ensure that they understand and learn the know how of using the product right way and usage of the right brand so that their work is also recognized at a great level and for that also we call plumber experts to train them additionally we are ensuring that their learning should not stop there and we have enabled them to learn on a digital platform through our app so we have a flogart plus app wherein we have a gyan kendra and there they can go in their leisure time or in their free, free time watch the training videos and learn and upskill themselves okay that's really good to know that the international company like lubrizol is not only selling the product but creating the awareness in the industry i'm very happy for this all right sir now it's the time for flow chat rapid fire round okay are you ready for it of course okay so here is my questions cpvc or regular pvc cpvc trained plumber or jugadu plumber trained plumber virtual meetings or in person meeting in person meetings climate change or habit change habit change amazing dr amit now name these movies of water related bollywood songs okay. are you ready for it yes tip tip barsa pani from mohra pani re pani tera rang kaisa from shore pani da rang vekh from wicked owner amazing thank you 
ओके सर बिफोर वी एंड दिस एपिसोड ऑफ बियॉन्ड प्लम्बिंग आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू गिव अस थ्री प्रो टिप्स फॉर द होम ओनर्स थैंक यू रचित फॉर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन द थ्री प्रो टिप्स फॉर द होम यूजर्स आर यूज द वाटर इफिशियंट फिक्सचर्स इन दैट यूज द वाटर इफिशियंट शावर विच विल रिड्यूज द वाटर कंजम्पन यूज द ड्यूएल प्लेट फ्लश so that the flushing uh, water will be reduced also use the washing machine at full load so that the water usage will be less and for the irrigation system if you have the large home parcels or landscapes then use the automated irrigation system which will reduce the water consumption at a large all right thank you so much dr amit chaudhary to come on our chat show and share your valuable inputs thank you rachit for inviting me to the chat show and it was pleasure to share my thoughts so friends now it's time for wrap up but before we end this show i would request you to follow and subscribe our channel and stay tuned for the next episode of beyond plumbing